Hey ladies. So, I was requested to do a video of an overview slash my favorite perfumes by um, Beauty Hysteria. I hope I got that right. Sorry, sweetie, if I didn't. Now, one thing I can say about my perfume collection is I don't have the scents that I want. Kind of weird because I haven't been perfume shopping in a while. I'm the kind of person I'll do like massive shopping and then I won't shop for certain things for a long time. So with that being said, I will show you my favorite perfumes. And um, there are four perfumes that I do want. Um, Miss Cherie Dior, um, Versace Bright Crystal, Viva Le Juicy, and uh, Daisy Marc Jacobs. Those are the three scents that I do want to add to my collection. But if it's between MAC and perfumes, I'll go for MAC. Don't ask me why. But anyway, so here we go. I'm going to go as quickly as possible because this video has to stay under 10 minutes. So, one of my favorite perfumes, and I'm almost out of it, and I will be repurchasing this, if you see the bottle, is Touch of Pink by Lacoste. This is my all-time favorite, especially for the summer. My second favorite is by Michael Kors, and this is Michael. And this is just like a soft, like powdery scent. Very good, clean scent. This is Michael by Michael Kors. I'm not good with describing scents, so I would personally recommend, even though I describe them to you, you know, you still might want to go smell them for yourself. This one. It's got like a floral, powdery scent. A real soft floral scent. My next one is DKNY Be Delicious. It's the green one. And this is like an apple, green apple smell. Another favorite of mine is Glow by JLo love this stuff. This one I sometimes find, I find this one very hard to find. It's called Check by Karen Lowe. So when I did find it, I had to buy a spare box. This is one of my, this has been my favorite for years. And I love it because no one ever smells like this. Another staple of mine is Curve. It's a must-have for me. And my winter, you know, um, scent is Burberry Weekend. I tried that uh, new Burberry smell, the beet. Yeah, I didn't like it. And it's funny, a lot of things that a lot of girls like, that's why I don't stick to all the name brand ones. I don't like. Funny enough. Another one of my favorites, this is called, um, I can't pronounce it. I will try. Merved. And it's um, this perfume. Beautiful bottle. One of my favorites. It says made in France. Joan and B. Paris. Another one of my favorites that I don't wear as much as I should is it's called Ignition. And this is also came with a beautiful tin case and this is uh, by L O L O L O M A N I I don't know like this counter that I go to they sell like all these cheaper fragrances that they say are from France if I like it I'll buy it these like they only charge me like $25 for and they smell really good so or sometimes they'll charge me 15 25, you know, in between. I never pay no more than 25 for these. But I love the um, container for this one. And one of my last favorites, this is Maria Sharapova. This is one of my favorite perfumes. I get so many compliments when I wear this. And this is definitely one of my summer scents. Now, all the rest of these perfumes are just ones that I have. I really don't wear them. 
but I have them. Actually, no, there's one more that I, I do wear a lot. And I bought it because I was unsure. Because I like a lot of the Calvin Klein ones, but I wasn't sure which ones I really, really, really like. Oops. So, I got this little sample set. And it has the um, Euphoria Blossom, regular sh um, Euphoria Obsession, Eternity, and CK1. And this set was $40, but I only ended up paying $25 for it because I had coupons. And needless to say, I love the, and I wear it all the time, the Euphoria 